you might think it would be a good idea to set this pile of household debris on fire. Maybe you, your friends, or your family members do this as a usual practice. Well, it's against the law in Louisiana to conduct an open burn of household waste and associated materials such as construction debris, tires, or non-vegetative matter. Hi, I'm Jeff Dozat, environmental scientist with the Louisiana Department of Environmental Quality. Today I'm going to discuss open burning and stress the importance of checking your local regulations on the legality of doing so. This video was sent to DEQ from a concerned resident who witnessed an illegal open burn of hazardous waste at night in East Feliciana Parish. Through the help of this video, evidence obtained at the scene resulted in an arrest of the perpetrator by DEQ's criminal investigation section with help from local authorities. The perpetrator was convicted and sentenced to serve five years of supervised probation in lieu of two years hard labor. He was ordered to pay a criminal fine of $1,000 plus court costs. Title 33, Section 1109 of the Louisiana Administrative Code states, No person shall cause or allow the burning of waste or other combustible material on any property owned by him or under his control. Burning household waste and tires is illegal. Statewide, no exceptions. Never burn plastic, synthetic materials, tires, rubber products, paints, household and agricultural chemicals, asphalt shingles, heavy oils, wire, newspaper, cardboard, or any other paper products. Recycle paper, aluminum cans, plastics, and glass. Separate those items out of your trash and consult your nearest recycling office for what they will accept. Household waste contain many dangerous substances that, when burned, can be harmful to the air, soil, and water, thereby directly affecting you, your children, your neighbors, your pets, and any local livestock. The open burning of household waste has been attributed to certain toxic air emissions, harmful chemicals seeping into the soil and groundwater, as well as respiratory and eye problems. Some open burns have also caused wildfires and destroyed property. The common problem we encounter is that open burning of household waste tends to be carried on from generation to generation. Many do so based on bad advice from someone or simply think open burning is okay, and they've done so for years without thinking about the health and environmental consequences. Don't just take someone's word for it. Check the regulations in your city or parish, and if in doubt, don't open burn. Instead, donate electronic waste, appliances, also known as white goods, in certain construction materials to thrift stores or charitable organizations. Promote reduce, reuse, and recycle, and keep those goods out of the landfills. DEQ inspectors investigated this open burn site, which came from a citizen call. Roofing tar, paint cans, and chemicals in five-gallon plastic buckets were being burned at a residence in Caddo Parish. Even if it's on your property, it's still illegal to conduct an open burn of chemicals anywhere in Louisiana. In this case, the homeowner stated he was unaware of the regulations. DEQ inspectors informed him that the chemicals had to be disposed of properly in a permitted landfill. A notice of deficiency was issued to the homeowner. However, the homeowner took responsibility and chose to do the right thing. He was then issued a deficiency clear letter after investigators determined he had adequately disposed of the materials. This open burn of waste tires in East Feliciana Parish was also reported by a concerned citizen. The fire had to be put out by the local fire department. The perpetrator was arrested and sentenced to 24 months of probation, plus a suspended six months prison sentence. He was also ordered to pay a criminal fine plus court costs. Note that the ordinance prohibiting open burning of household waste are different than those that apply to the burning of ordinary yard waste such as leaves, tree branches, grass clippings, and other vegetation. Behind me is a pile of yard waste, tree limbs, and associated vegetative debris, typically things that occur naturally in the environment. Don't assume it's legal to burn this pile just because it consists entirely of vegetative matter. There are ordinances regarding the, the burning of yard waste, and they're based on where you live, so always check to make sure you're following the law in any local ordinances. There actually may be specific restrictions that are stricter than state law. A burn ban may be in effect, or you may need to uh, get a permit from your local fire prevention authority to open burn. Now, if it's deemed okay to conduct a burn where you're at, you must attend the fire at all times with fire suppression equipment at the ready. 
Also, please consider your neighbors. Regulations aside, you are still responsible should your fire cause damage or impact your neighbor's enjoyment of their property. Leaves, eggshells, and some vegetation matter doesn't even need to be burned at all. Many things can be put into a compost pile to create nutrient-rich soils that can ultimately provide a boost to your lawn and garden. If a DEQ inspector sees or is made aware of a burn pile, they will stop and speak with the property or business owner to advise them on the regulations. All inquiries from the public are investigated, and the more serious offenses are routed to DEQ's criminal investigation section for immediate action. Substantial fines, probation, and or jail time may be imposed upon those prosecuted and found guilty of open burning. If you witness an open burn in progress, call your local authorities and or call DEQ's single point of contact line toll free at 1-888-763-5424. To better inform DEQ of the details needed to investigate, be sure to take down the exact location, debris involved, responsible parties, and any other details. You can also submit a report on DEQ's website by completing an incident report form at the link provided.